All right, so a little bit different today. Well, I mean, I've done stuff some similar to this before, like facials and whatever, but um, I was noticing, or I noticed, I was editing the video that I filmed where I tried the Exa Foundation and some other new stuff, and I noticed <laughs> um, you could really see all of my like hairs down here. I haven't been dermaplaned since um, December when I had my facial done in December and then you know the whole world thing happened and so I haven't been back to see my facialist I don't know when I'm gonna go back um, because there's all kinds of restrictions and stuff now and I just kind of don't want to deal with it which means I haven't done it myself either because um, I've been just I've been you know lazy about it I've only had it done twice both times were by my facialist I do have the stacked skincare Dermaplane, which I bought in case I wanted to do it myself, and I haven't wanted to do it myself until I saw that video and I saw how exaggerated my hairs were. You know, whoever said that hairs don't grow back um, like longer or darker, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't apply to you, but for me, they definitely have grown back like noticeably darker and sort of like longer. I mean, they're not any thicker, but when you look up close, you can definitely see how dark like my hairs are in this area, especially. So my beard, I guess. <laughs> I had a little flower. So I just did a steam. Um, so I washed my face in the shower uh, with a lightly exfoliating cleanser. This is the Strange Bird Inner Clarity Cleanser. I'm actually about done with it. I think I might be <laughs> as done with it as I can be. I really, really enjoy this. It's a very nice, lightly exfoliating cleanser. I do really like that, and I'll probably repurchase that at some point. Um, so if you're looking for something just like lightly exfoliating, no like beads or anything in it. Um, it's, I think it's mostly chemical. There, there is a little bit of a grit, which I'm guessing is the kaolin clay, but it's mostly uh, chemical. So I did a light exfoliation in the shower. I did a steam to sort of like prep my skin. And now we're gonna go in with a, <laughs> with a dermaplane. I'm also going to do an enzymatic mask afterwards because that's what my derma, or not my derma, my facialist does. She does an enzymatic mask after I, as she dermaplanes my face. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of gua sha. So I'm gonna use the pink moon oil, um, the gua sha oil and the stone. Just a little self care. I need to get better about that. So this is the uh, Maya Chia refreshment. I love that one because it's very intense. So we're just gonna get started. So this is the stacked skincare dermaplane. I'll uh, link it below in case you're interested in checking it out if you wanna do it on your own. So I've done like bits of my face before. I've never done my entire face myself. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully okay. So um, you wanna go down and the only place I think that you really avoid is like the nose and you don't wanna go over the same area um, too much and I've got you know so I've got some like acne happening so I got to try to be careful around those places as well so we'll see how this goes my facialist usually uses um like a full-on scalpel <laughs> so much fuzz can you see this no, you can't. Can you see all that fuzz? Look at all that. I have a fuzzy face. A very fuzzy face.
Okay, so, um, <laughs> my husband decided to come in, like, right as I began that, so I sped through some of it, um, and obviously turned the sound off so you can't hear him talking, but, uh, I cut myself a little bit. There's, like, a little, you know, zit right here, and this one is, uh, bleeding and won't stop. <laughs> but, guys, I have, I had a super fuzzy face. I had so much, so much fuzz. Look at this. I was like, like a full on beard happening or something. There's blood on that. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully have this thing stop bleeding. But yeah, I think I did pretty good. I didn't get too close to the hairline. I got all this area down here, which was the most fuzzy. My forehead was also very fuzzy, I didn't realize, but it feels smooth now, smoother. I mean, it doesn't feel as good as when I go to my um, facialist just because they use a scalpel. So it's much more precise and much more um, that, you know, they get, they get everything. I mean, it'll, it's, it'll do. I just need to keep up, keep up with it. And now, um, you know, once you use this blade, I think it's one full time, you get rid of it. I need to uh, double check on that because I think you're only supposed to use each blade one time. So that way it's not dull and you're not, you know, like shaving your face with a dull, a dull razor. I need to double check that. Um, but I do have a, I, woo, I do have, <laughs> I do have some backups um, that I bought when I bought this, which if you remember, I bought this, I don't know, like almost two years ago now. So I'm, I am gonna go lightly cleanse my face again, um, just probably with some water just to like rinse it off. And then when this thing stops bleeding, which it doesn't appear that's gonna be anytime soon, um, I'm gonna do the Maya Chia mask. But yeah, if you've been interested in dermaplaning, I do really like this. It's very easy. Um, you know, you just, you know, shave down the face, try to avoid, you know, the zits and stuff. if you've got broken skin, which of course my facialist does a much better job of that than I do. But yeah, you've got, you know, super, super smooth skin, peach fuzz free in no time. I think that took me, I don't know, roughly eight minutes total, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go attempt to stop the bleeding. All right, I know that this is going to tingle a considerable, considerable amount more than usual, just because I just exfoliated my face via the razor. So this should be interesting. It's probably gonna get pretty red, um, but I'm not worried about it. Ooh, feel the tingle already. My skin needs a real good exfoliation anyway. And it just got it. Uh, physically and now it's getting it chemically because the um, the dermaplane um, does also get you know dead skin and whatever so I had fuzz and dead skin cells um, all coming off via the razor this isn't too bad my facialist always does this. She does, uh, she cleanses, then she does the dermaplane, and then she does the masks. And it always tingles. A considerable bit. Skin is going to feel so smooth after this, though. Whew. This is a nice one if you can handle um, sort of like really intense enzymatic masks, because I find that it does. It works really well but if you're super reactive or if you have super sensitive skin it might be a little bit too much for you because it is it's very <laughs> very intense it can be so i'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes ish and then we'll come back and we'll just do some gua sha just to uh you know really work the face today is um labor day so i have the day off from work you know, it's nice to have a three-day weekend um, every once in a while because, like, Saturday I film some stuff, but then, like, Sunday I usually spend with the family because my husband doesn't really get most holidays off. So, you know, we hang around 
uh, watch movies all day, pretty much is what we did yesterday. We played video games and we watched movies. That's what we did. So I'm gonna just let this, let this hang for a while and then I'll be back. Okay, mask is off. I feel really smooth. <laughs> Really smooth, I love it. Okay, now we're just gonna do some gua sha because I haven't done gua sha in a while. I've been meaning to. I'm just gonna take a decent amount. All over. Because a lot of it's gonna get absorbed in. Via the gua sha tool. So I just do I think I've showed you guys gua sha before, how I do it. Um, I do however it feels right. I really don't follow any specific method or routine. I just do what feels right, you know, where the stone fits naturally. I just do it until you know my face sort of feels I don't know like it's benefited in some way <laughs> See, those are, these are the motions I pretty much follow. Um, no matter what tool I'm using, or just anytime I do gua sha, I like to go up on the forehead. And then once I've, uh, you know, once I've done as much, I'll take that and just bring it down the neck. I'll go back down the neck a few times. My battery is going to die. So I don't know how much of this I'll get. So I will film until it dies. Because my hands are <laughs> pretty ge greasy. A uh, battery change would not be um, the easiest right now. Oh, I'm probably done on that side and then just do the same thing I always do one side of my face first I don't really know why a specific reason I guess I really need to get back into doing this nightly because I felt like my skin benefited so much from nightly gua sha I feel like it helped with acne too. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the, you know, the draining. The draining. Lymphatic drainage. Maybe that helps. Any help I can get right now. 
You guys saw what my skin looks like at the moment. But if you're looking for a good, um, you know, lightweight gua sha oil, I do really like this one from Pink Moon. It's got a lot of slip. You know, it's lightly scented as well. It's not super strong. I just go back over. I didn't do my under eye on this eye. I always take the, the flat part of the stone and just do the under eye like this. Is that how you should do it? I don't know. <laughs> but that's what I like to do because that's just what sort of feels best for me. I feel like there are some stones that don't necessarily fit my face that great. But, you know, everybody's face is different. I really like the shape of the the pink moon because it just it fits my face like how I want it to. You know, this area right here in the neck. Fits. All right, I did a few more minutes of the gua sha, um, and then I washed my hands obviously and changed out my battery. So I figured I would just give you final thoughts. Um, I really like that stacked skincare uh, dermaplane tool. I was reading the package when I was in the bathroom. You don't have to change it after every use, but it does say after a month, but I don't know if that means like, I don't know how many times they suggest doing it in a month or like how often, so I'm gonna need to research that. But my, my guess would be that maybe the tool would last you two or three times like to get really precise like sharp um, edges and all that so I'd say I can probably use this like at least one more time before I change out the blade um, let's see the enzyme mask I love I love this mask I like a really intense exfoliation especially um, you know right now but it's not so intense that you know it super irritates my skin or anything it just like really like takes away all the dead you know the dead stuff happening on my skin you can see like the areas of my my skin where they're really red from the gua sha my skin feels good though um and then the gua sha stone like i was saying i really like this for my shape you know my shape of my my face specifically everybody's face is going to be shaped a little bit differently and some stones may work better for you than others this one i think it's pretty close to the same shape as the Mahalo Jade Stone that I have that she offered a couple of years back. That one also really fit, uh, fits my face really, really well. But I really like the shape of this one. This works really well in this area. I really like this for this part of my face. Um, some tools, if the shape isn't right for my face, they can hurt a little bit. They're just not comfortable, um, you know, using if the, the shape isn't just right for my face. And if you're looking for a really nice gua sha oil, I do really like this one. I am gonna let this one, I did put a lot on. I used like a whole dropper because I wanted to make sure that I had really nice, you know, like movement. Keep getting interrupted. I'm trying to finish this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking for a lightweight gua sha oil, one that's good, has a lot of slip, it does absorb um, over time. Um, I definitely feel like within the hour, this will be like all absorbed into my skin and then I can do just like a lightweight moisture over top, moisturizer over top. I'm not gonna do anything. Know, sort of crazy today but it's nice it's um uh, sunflower moringa neroli rose palmarosa and sandalwood so it's got like a nice light scent a nice light texture um i think i said i did use a bit much i did use like a full dropper but you know it'll eventually all absorb into the skin so that's really all that i'm going to be doing today i just wanted to kind of dermaplane and mask and gua sha with you guys because um i haven't done any of those things in quite a long time so 
you know, my skin really needed it. Really needs some TLC. And before I do any other foundations, I kind of wanted to uh, make sure my face was nice and smooth because like I said, in that video, I watched it back and I was like, oh wow. You could really see how much fuzz was like on my face. So much fuzz, so much fuzz. I need to keep up with the, you know, the dermaplaning. So that way I don't have that like fuzz problem. Cause my skin just, it does. It feels so much better once it's dermaplaned. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you had fun. <laughs> maybe you did some skincare with me or maybe you turned this on while you were doing your own masking or dermaplaning or whatever. But um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.